What's going on everybody, it's Buddy here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a full power steering flush in your Honda. Now the vehicle we're working on today is a 2006 Honda Accord. They're all pretty similar. Once you watch this whole video, you're going to know exactly how to do it no matter what kind of Honda vehicle you have. And this is going to be a full on flush. This is not going to be one of those halfway jobs that they do at any kind of lube shops or oil change shops. This is going to be a full thorough flush. So enough small talk, let's jump right into the video. So this is going to be everything you need here for this job. We're going to be using some power steering fluid. As you see here, this is rated for Hondas. We're going to be using a turkey baser or if you have a long syringe. A quarter inch inner diameter tubing. You can get this on Amazon. I'm going to put the link for everything in the description, of course. Some needle nose pliers. You're going to need some rags, of course. Something to catch your old power steering fluid in. Any kind of a bucket. And then a jack and some wheel chocks. And also a half inch inner diameter tube with a couple of zip ties. So quick one-on-one of how your power steering fluid works. This is going to be your reservoir. It's going to suck the power steering fluid into the power steering system, the rack, all that good stuff. And then it gets returned back into this hose right here. So everything goes through a cycle. So we're going to use that cycle to actually pump out the old fluid and pump in the new fluid. You don't have to understand much about this system in order for you to do this job. I'm going to explain everything step by step here for you. Now our first step here is to find our power steering reservoir. We're going to pop the cap off. We're going to take our turkey baser or a syringe and then just an empty bottle of water. We're going to go in and we're going to get as much power steering fluid out of the reservoir as we can. And as you can see, the power steering fluid here in this Accord is nasty. It's a good thing we're changing it out. Now, after our power steering reservoir is as empty as we can get it, we're going to take our half inch line with our zip tie, and then you're gonna find something to fit in here. Uh, I found the Sharpie, it seems to fit in there pretty snug, so that's what I'm gonna be using. And the purpose of this is gonna be our plug. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put the plug in right now. Now coming down into our power steering reservoir hoses, we're going to take a rag, and we're gonna stick it down under there, because we are gonna make a little bit of a mess. And with our needle nose pliers, we're gonna reach down here and pull back this hose clamp. Now with the hose clamp out of the way, we're going to pull this back, should come off fairly easily, and then we're going to have our drain plug ready. Now we're going to slip the drain plug right here, then pull back our zip tie, and get it nice and snug. So I actually just threw a second zip tie on there and shoved my Sharpie down in the hole. Our plug is in and we're ready for the next step. So now we're going to take our quarter inch inner diameter tubing. And we're going to take this hose that we originally removed here from the power steering reservoir. We're going to slide this in there. And don't be afraid to push this in a little deep. And then we're going to take our hose clamp. And we're just going to slide it up a bit. And we're ready. Now with everything set up, it's time to jack up the car. Now remember when jacking up the car, it's always going to be as safe as possible. We're going to pull up our e-brake. And also apply our wheel chocks. If you don't have wheel chocks, you can use a simple 2x4. Anytime you jack your car off the ground, you always want to make sure you add some jack stands just for extra safety. Now you only need to jack up the car high enough to get the wheels off the ground. That way we're able to turn the steering wheel and pump out all that power steering fluid. A quick shameless plug, I did paint these wheels that came out beautiful as you can tell. Also the brake calipers, I do have a video, I'll put them in the description for you guys if you want to paint your wheels. Now that our car is jacked off the ground, the next step is to take our hose here. And we can run it over the front bumper, but what I like to do is let gravity work on my side and shove it down here in the engine bay. And then fish out the hose from under the car. Now we're going to take our hose and our catch pan. And a cool trick is if you take some vice grips, and you don't want to crush the hose. You just want to clamp it onto the side. Make sure the hose still has enough room to breathe. Now with everything all set, we're going to take our funnel here and make sure it is a clean funnel. You don't want any dust or debris in there. And our Honda rated power steering fluid. And we're going to fill up our power steering fluid reservoir to the max line. So now, to avoid having the wheel locked up, we're going to put the key in the ignition, and we're just going to turn it once. 
and that's going to loosen up our steering wheel so we can pump the fluid through the system. So as you can see me just turning the wheel that little bit, we already got some power steering fluid flushing through the system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our wheel and we're just going to move it and you can see it start pumping through. And we're going to push it all the way to lock. And then we're going to push it all the way to lock again. Now after we pumped a good bit of that old fluid out, we're going to take our power steering fluid reservoir and we're going to top it back off. So now that we're topped off, we're going to keep pumping that fluid here through the system. And for a third time, we're going to top off the reservoir and flush that nice clean fluid through the system. So at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little sample here in my cup and check out how clean we got it. Alright, so this is a sample of what we just got coming here through our return hose and this is what we were working with before we changed the fluid. So I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm going to show you guys how to put everything back together and get all the air out of the system. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it, guys. You can see just how nasty this stuff was. If you look closely, you can see little traces of metal in there. That's the stuff that's going to eat up your power steering pump and your power steering rack. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little bucket here, pull my Sharpie out, and I'm going to empty out the reservoir here through this. Now we're going to take our return line that we used to drain out the system and we're going to move this hose clamp down and we're going to pull out our hose. Now we're going to yank out our little makeshift plug and hook our return line back up. We're going to take our hose clamp and fit it back where it used to be. And we're going to pull our line out from the engine bed. And now that everything is hooked back up, we're going to top off the reservoir again. So it looks like we're at pretty much right there on that upper level. You can kind of see the fluids right there where it glows. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the car and we're going to leave it on for a few seconds and see if we can purge some of the air out of the system. filled right up to that lower level line so as long as all the air is out of the system we should be in good shape so we're going to start it up one more time and see what happens all right after turning the wheel with the engine on letting the pump run we're going to check it out and see where we're at all right so we did suck a little more air out you can see it was at this bottom level so that should be all the air now I'm going to fill it up here between the lower level and the upper level, and we should be good to go. And as you guys know, my goal with this channel is to leave out all the small talk nonsense and get straight to the point with some high quality DIY videos. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications. Now what I'm going to recommend at this point is thoroughly clean out all the hoses, any drip spills that you did. Take the car for about a 5 or 10 minute drive around the neighborhood, and then when you get home, Check your levels and check and make sure you don't have any leaks where you undid any hose clamps. And if you haven't checked on my channel, you definitely should. I got a lot of really cool videos already on the channel like, like how to repair a curb rash on your rim. Also how to paint your rim and brake calipers. How to paint your car and get a professional looking result with nothing but spray cans. How to repair scratches on your car at home with no expensive tools and much, much more. So be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.